So our diagram shows us the cross-section of a solid prism, and we're told that the length of the prism is 2 metres. Now you'll notice that all the dimensions of the cross-section are given in centimetres, so we're going to change our 2 metres into the centimetres equivalent, so it will be 200 centimetres. And if you're going to work out the volume of a prism, you've got to remember the volume is equal to the area of the cross-section times the length. So it'll be, the volume will be the area times 200. So we need to um, work out the area um, of <coughs> the cross-section, and then when we've got that in centimetres squared, we need to take into account that the density is 8 grams per centimetres cubed, should I say. And so we'll multiply our volume in centimetres cubes by 8 to get the mass of the prism. So our answer will be the volume will equal... Uh, the density, rather, so I'll just change that. Or should I say the, um, the mass? The mass is going to equal the area times 200 times 8. All right, the 8 coming from the grams per centimetre cubed. So if we look at the um, shape, it is basically two rectangles put together. The bottom rectangle will be 7 times 2. The um, rectangle here is not going to be 2 times 7, because that 7 goes all the way down to the bottom. It's going to be 7 subtract 2. So you've got your 2 here, so we need to subtract that, so we get our length here. So that makes that 10. 2 fives are 10. Now 7 twos are 14, and 10 and 14 are 24. So our mass then is going to be 24 times 200 times 8. Now we need to work that out without a calculator. We should realise that 200 times 8 is 1600. So we need to multiply 1600 times 24. So I'll do that now. So 0 fours are 0, 0 fours are 0, 6 fours are 24, and 1 four is 4, and add on the 2, and we get our 6. And now I place our 0. 0 twos are 0, 0 twos again are 0, 6 twos are 12, 1 two is 2, that gives us 3, it's almost done, so 0 and 0 is 0, 0, 4, 8, and 3. So we have a mass of the prism comes to 38,400 grams. It's not asked for it in kilograms, if it had it would be 38.4 kilograms. And that's the answer to this question. And just to add, if you weren't quite sure what you were doing, the actual shape would have looked like this, or the shape, the solid, where the depth, this dimension here, was two meters, or 200 centimetres. So that's exactly what you've been doing. You've worked out the volume of that solid and you've multiplied the centimetres cubed by 8 to get the mass.